plotting rational numbers on a number line. Now, let's try to understand first what a number line is. A number line is a line which extends indefinitely in both directions with a zero in the center and positive values on the right. This is extending up to infinity and negative numbers on the left. Now, this is a number line and any integer can easily be represented here. Any whole number or natural number can be represented very easily here. But what we are going to try to learn in this chapter is how to represent rational numbers. So, if you are having, let's say, a rational number 2 by 7, we are going to find out how we are going to plot that on the number line. So, first see that this number 2 by 7 is a positive number. If it's a positive number, then it is obvious that it is going to lie on the right side of 0. Because all positive numbers will be on the right side of 0 and all negative numbers will be on the left side of 0. So, here we have 2 by 7. So, now we have equal divisions. We have equal divisions. So, this is one unit. Whatever is this one unit, the same has to be extended equally on the right side. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 equal divisions. It goes on. So, the first part here, we are going to write as 1 by 7. This is 2 by 7, 3 by 7, 4 by 7, 5 by 7. This is 6 by 7 and this is 7 by 7, which is equivalent to actually 1. So, between 0 and 1, we are making 7 equal divisions and we have to represent 2 by 7. Now, 2 by 7 is actually this second division after 0. So, I can say this value is 2 by 7. Similarly, if suppose the question is plot 3 by 8. Now, again, we have considered a positive number. A positive number will again lie on the right side of 0. So, we are going to divide this into 8 equal parts. Look at the denominator is 8. We are going to divide into 8 equal parts. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And these portions are all equal to each other. The first part is 1 by 8. This is 2 by 8, 3 by 8, 4 by 8, 5 by 8, 6 by 8, 7 by 8 and finally 8 by 8 which is actually 1. So, between 0 and 1 we have these divisions. And we have to represent 3 by 8 and 3 by 8 is actually the third division after 0. So, 3 by 8 will be this particular point. So, this is how we are going to plot positive numbers on the rational, this uh, rational numbers on the number line. We can also plot negative numbers similarly on the number line. 